everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be testing and reviewing um it's quite new it's by um her revolution it is the gold crush palette so it is the xx revolution gold crush palette and it looks like this inside um i also got the gold elixir serum priming serum i've also got the pink one but i thought we'd test out the gold one today and then also i did pick up um these two big bottles of um body lavas i'm guessing like body shimmers in the shade suspense and chronicle um we'll put these on like my arms or something later on and test them out and um, these smell amazing i've had these for quite a while um but yeah so let's get cracking so i did test this out in my video one of my videos last week um as you, as you can see kind of it just looks like like a liquid going on your skin um uh, it smells really nice though. Like I can, and just because I want my skin to be like extra glowy, I'm gonna go in with the Illuminate and Glow by Revolution again in the shade Gold across my face. Sorry if you guys can hear the seagulls, they are going crazy today. And then we're just gonna blend it in with my NYX stippling brush. So it's looking like this so far. I really, you guys know I really enjoy this. And um, the serum's nice. I feel like it's very natural. Um, I don't know if I'd use it like every day. I think it's just something I'm going to have to keep testing to really find out whether I like it or whether it actually does anything. Because right now I'm not too sure like whether it actually does anything for your skin. Because I didn't really see any gold specks or anything when I put it on. We are going to use, um, I don't know if I use this on my channel, I think I did, and I didn't like it too much, but we're going to go in, but I want to, so I want to test this again, it is the Maybelline, Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation in the shade Warm Ivory. So I'm just pushing this into my skin at the minute just to kind of build up the coverage and I put so much on my forehead so this is the foundation on for concealer the collection 2000 concealer in the shade number two so I'm going to go in with the gold crush xx revolution palette and I'm going to show you again what it looks like so you can see. The only thing I did like kind of swatch the other day and like it's on, like it's got points like a mountain. Um, if I like turn it there maybe. Um, and like it crushed. So I don't know how it's going to perform on the eyes but obviously we can test and see that. I'm going to go in to the Morphe 433 brush into the shade mineral which is like this light brown shade and i'm just going to place it in my crease like push it into my crease And then we we'll take the same brush that I'm using to press the shade mineral in and I'm going to blend it out. It comes out quite dark and um, like a different type of brown than how it is here then on the lid. That's one thing I will say, it doesn't look like on the lid how it appears in the pan and then I'm going to go into the shade oh it's very weird like there's not a lot of yeah it's quite a revolution palette 
there's a lot of shimmers and not that many mattes again. Um, if you guys would have seen my collab with Lizzie, that happened as well there. There was loads of shimmers, which I love shimmers, but you also need mattes to create like quite a fun look. So hopefully they like kind of get what people are saying and put more mattes in. So I've gone into the shade Molten, which is like this light red pink colour, and I'm just gonna go underneath the crease, kind of onto the lid on the same brush. And I'm just bringing this through. What have you guys been up to today? Leave me a comment. I have been sorting out my makeup collection, like my eyeshadow collection, because I found it really hard to kind of see what I had to use in videos and then just for myself, my own time. So I um, sorted out all my eyeshadow palettes into like Revolution, um, like higher end, more expensive palettes and then kind of the palettes that I want to review um, or play with or do videos with, um, just things like that and then obviously I have like quite a few Morphe palettes and the big XX ones and just the normal big Revolution ones and um, so I had to put them in a separate drawer, organise them to fit. So that's what I've been doing today. Um, but yeah, nothing really too exciting. So I'm going to go into the shade Intrusive, which is appearing like a very dark, dark brown. But I'm guessing it kind of looks black to you, but it's very dark brown. So I'm just going to put this in my outer V. Yeah, guys, it's very pigmented, as you can tell. Very pigmented. And I'm just going to drag this in. And blend it out like through the crease, just up a bit. And I've kind of brought it in, as you guys can see. It's looking crazy right now, I know, but we will get there. And then I'm going back in with the Morphe 443. 433, sorry. I'm just going to blend the brow, the like dark colour out. I will go back in and intense, like make it more intense, but I want to blend it out first. I'm not completely inspired by this eyeshadow palette. Um, I'll give you my thoughts at the end, but... So I'm going to go in with my... Morphe 124 brush on a so I'm going to go in with my Morphe 124 brush on some MAC Flix Plus you guys know and I'm going to go into the shade Spectrum which is like this deep gold colour I'm just going to press where I've not put any shadow and I'm not entirely impressed with that gold shade. Uh, I think there's better Revolution gold shades out there. But I'm going to go try another one. And I'm going to go into the next gold shade, which is Element. I'm just going to test this one out and see if it like applies any better. Just on the centre of the eye. Yeah, so this is how it's looking so far. We are going to go back in with the... Morphe um, E36 brush and then again, again into the shade Intrusive just so we can like put a bit of that dark brown back into where I originally placed it. I do really like this um, Intrusive. I don't actually I think I have a shade like this in my collection, shock. I might do, but I do really like the intrusive shade. I'm just blending it out with the Morphe B20 something brush. I'll see if I can find this and link it down below. I really want to build up this gold shade just to have it pop out a bit more. 
so yeah guys this is the one i done there is a lot of fallout uh so maybe do your eyes first and then go in to do your base um, I do really like this look actually. I wish I could have built up the gold a bit more, um, but that was as far as it was going. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go do my other eye. I'm going to go apply some bronzer, blush and highlighter and lashes, and then I will come back to show you guys what I've used and tell you my final thoughts on the palette. So I'm back. As you can see, my lashes are on. I have on my bronzer, um, my highlighter and blusher I used for... The bronzer, highlighter and blusher, the Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced. Um, it looks really nice. I forgot, like, another thing I forgot. So I love that. And then I also went in with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour um, just to set under my under eyes and also contour my face. And then I thought that for my liquid lip, before we went in with my eyes, we would go in with the Kiko Dark Treasure Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Rosetto. It looks like this. And again, I'm not going to apply a liquid liner. Uh, I'm not going to apply a lip liner. And then we're going to go in with my under eye on this same Morphe E36 brush, just into magma which is like this i would say it's got a shimmer in it like a dark crap like a dark red i would say because intrusive will be on there so it'll just bring an extra bit of color and i'm also going to apply some lash um some lash gel just through my eyebrows. There we go. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Um, but I'll give you my final. I will give you my final thoughts. Thoughts. I do like the palette. I'm not in love with it. Um, I do think there's better revolution palettes out there, especially the gold shimmers, like I don't, I'm not blown away with them, the other matte shimmers I'm not blown away with, they are easy to blend out but I'm not like, oh my gosh, rushing to pick it up or I'd be telling people to buy this because I do think there's better revolution palettes but the shade Intrusive I do really like just to create like that smoky, um, like blacky brown on throughout the eye I do really like that this priming serum I can't really tell you whether it's doing anything for my skin we are going to have to play around with it a bit more and um, just tell you guys whether it's worth picking it up and um, it did feel nice but I don't know whether it's like a gimmick I don't know but yeah let's test out the two um these two like body lava type of things so let's try the shade Chronicle first, which is like the lighter of the two. So that's how Chronicle looks. And then Suspense. Yeah, Suspense is very gold. Suspense looks like this. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was okay for you. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. I've got the um, Too Faced Princess collection and also the Essence one. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see or any palettes that you'd like to see tutorials with or any looks. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.